Hello, welcome to this week's Legislative Update. I'm Jim Baumgart, your co-host, and along with me is Nanette Bullabush yeah, from Elkhart Lake. Yes. Out in the country. You bet. Now welcome I'm in to the, the city today. <laughs> we want to talk uh, a little bit about probably one of the more important uh, things in uh, local government, and that's the people right to select their representative. And our forefathers, back in 1850s or before, um, and, and in, in other uh, states, decided that it's good to have treasurers and county clerks and judges elected by local people because uh, that's the check and balance. You just don't want everything run by the county board or city council. You want uh, people to elect their own representatives so that you can go to them because you want to have that right. Anyway, so we brought in a county uh, uh, official, John Dalton, who is a county clerk. Yes. And it's an important job, John. Absolutely. Yeah. I think so. Yes. <laughs> um, why don't you introduce yourself uh, to the viewers and how long you've been uh, county clerk? Uh, um, you sure. Know, like 14 years? No, no, it's no. Five years, I think. John Dolson. I live in the yeah. city of Sheboygan. I first ran for county clerk in 2012 and won, obviously. Uh, so I'm one year into my second term. So I've been clerk for five years. A very important job. Uh, but elections are the uh, probably the most important. And the fact that you are, what, secretary or uh, oversee uh, the uh, county board uh, uh, meetings that, uh, you know, record all the, the votes and yep. amendments. And so in that uh, sense, you're literally a clerk. Absolutely. So, okay. First and foremost, in the statutes, it's uh, running elections. Second is I'm the secretary to the county board. Yeah. Arrange and for the agendas, make sure the minutes are posted. Okay. Full-time job. How many are in your staff? Uh, two and three-quarter okay. gals so in So a pretty office. small office. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, what happens to the three-quarter? Does she have another job? or? No. It's bad. Oh, he, I shouldn't say. She. It's yeah, a it's a and she. And I bet, like everything else been. in uh, municipal government, you've probably downsized and you've been become more efficient thanks to technology and other things. Is that true? Yes. Okay. Uh, we had the opportunity to uh, make some cutbacks, and one one of the positions was a full time. And in my table of organization, I had a three quarter position, and I shifted the work to the three quarter position. Okay. So tell us what. What do you like the most about your job as county clerk? What do I like the most? I think I'm one of the few in the county that actually likes elections. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that intrigued me the most and got me interested in the position. Yeah. Like what? And what about elections intrigue you? Um, you? That it's our system of government. That's how we elect our representation uh, in, at all, all levels, the municipal, county, and state, and federal. Um, but that you can um, <clears throat> participate in the process and make sure it's a fair and balanced and proper election, and that's extremely important, and I, it just intrigues me. So, Well, we do have some elections coming up right now, uh, John. We have we county do. board. I'm a supervisor. Yes. I, I filled out my nomination. So you're paper. running again? I, one more time for sure. <clears throat> okay. I'm getting older and older, so, and, so you, and, pe and people need to know they can run against right. me, and, uh, well, by the and time they should. This show is being aired in January. It's going to be late. It's too late to run, but it's definitely right. not too late to be involved and support a candidate you support and to uh, be aware of the elections. We've got a, a primary election coming, coming up February. Do you Third know? Tuesday in February. Yeah. I think it's the 20th. And then the spring election is in April. First Tuesday in April. And what's the most important thing people need to know about these spring elections? The spring elections, the February one, unfortunately, <coughs> isn't going to get a lot of turnout. It's state Supreme Court. A lot of people don't keep track of that. Um, and we could have a primary for possibly the city of Sheboygan. They're changing from 16 aldermen, older persons, down to 10. Uh, we could see some there. There's still, all the papers aren't in yet, so we could see a primary for possibly a county supervisory district. Sure, sure. Not likely, but because you need three or more to have a primary. Uh, but then in April, April is the important uh, election locally because that's when we have all of the village races, the town races, the school districts, 
as well as the county supervisor yeah. races. And these are nonpartisan positions. Correct. But people are running their local municipalities. And why don't enough people run? I and mean, we hardly ever get contests on the county board. I was on a school board for two terms a, a while ago, and I don't even think I had an opponent, an opponent for one of those. Well, I think it's several it? reasons. First, um, well, they liked you. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah that, that, was, that was it, I'm sure. I was so There is enough um, happening that they don't like <laughs> at whatever level, school district or town yeah. or municipality. And okay. so they don't want to get involved. They think everything's going uh, well enough. Mm -hmm. uh, the other portion of people, I think, are complacent and don't want to stick their neck out. You, you're, you may be in the paper. You may, uh, you, you're, you're representing your municipality. So you might get some people that are on your side for a decision and some oh, yeah. that are opposed. So you're going to get phone calls and emails possibly hollering at you because of this or that. And do you want to oh, that's, take that that's, responsibility? That, that is important. I write an outdoor column, and I'm not afraid at times if somebody has voted uh, that I thought was uh, wrong. I try not to do that often. But I put uh, county board supervisors' names in my column saying, Give them a call. Well, they don't like that. That's yeah. That, uh, I, I, because you don't want to do that uh, often because you know they're doing the best job possible. But if they're going to do something that really is um, environmentally on my part uh, uh, wrong, uh, I'll write their name in and their telephone number. And people don't sometimes want to get uh, so involved that they get feel pressure. Mm. Yeah. Tell us about some of the jobs that you have to take care of on the, on, uh, the clerk's office, because I know you issue passports and other things. Yeah, in addition to- uh, And you make money doing that. We do, that Not is- Not him, income. but the office. Yeah. Right, the office, it's an <laughs> well, income producer. We don't know of you, no, you don't make yeah. money on that. But um, aside from secretary to the county supervisors and <clears throat> the passports, um, the elections, we do passports, which is a main source of revenue for our office, which helps offset the tax levy. Okay. Yes. Um, so we do passports, uh, the whole application process, but we are just processing the applications and getting them to the federal office. Okay. We don't actually um, give passports. And then we take photos for those renewing passports. And you charge for that? As we charge for the passport photos as well. Okay. And we keep that. Uh, <coughs> we're a little bit more than one of the stores. We're a little bit less than a couple other stores. Or people can go to the post okay. office and get that. They button. can do it by themselves if they follow the parameters oh, set up right? on the federal website. No. I could get my own passport, huh? You, you can get your own passport photo. Oh, I oh, think. No. Okay. Right. <laughs> I think I did. The application I still has to go through my office, unless okay. it's a renewal, you yeah. do that directly. And they can find out more information about that by contacting you, going on the website, correct? The correct. Okay. We're also listed on the federal uh, travel um, website. For the now, Secretary I know that some State. people have called for positions such as yours to be <coughs> appointed rather than elected. Right that, now, you're still elected. That would be very And we bad. know how Jim feels about yeah, this. How do bad. you feel? Should your position be appointed or elected? I think it should be elected. Yeah. I think uh, more government, uh, I think it's a balance of, of uh, a good balance with what's set up in the state statutes right now. Okay. You need some. You can't have a chief county administrator hiring all the positions um, especially county, ones that county are county executive for that matter. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, f especially the ones that are set up in the state statutes uh, to to have that department head follow. Okay. Um, if if it's because the, then you get into cronyism, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, I, I think I agree. And I think that was set, that's why it was set up. We're not unlike <laughs> any other uh, other states that they have this balance. Some are hired. Uh, some are elected. Would you say our elections are run pretty well here in Sheboygan County? I would say extremely well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was an easy question. I think there were some, <laughs> some snafus, if I don't remember, a couple years ago. Um, well, there was a learning curve. Right. Yeah. There were some where we were trying a new system and we had uh, some late postings. Right. Yes. But that the Elections Commission isn't concerned about when things are posted. So, and we, we overcame that at the very next election. 
and we're going to be implementing new equipment probably in 2018, which would alleviate that issue. It won't be the Russians then, will it? Oh, it will not. Right. Our system is unhackable. Okay. Okay, good. Unless good. they found a way. Somebody's going to be out there and they'll say, what about the, the Russians? What about thing? the yeah. Russians? Yeah. Unless they found a way to hack through the electrical system, the only thing that's connected to the internet and the outside world is the electrical cord. Yeah, so, yeah. so the point is you are going above and beyond to make sure our elections are not hacked. Absolutely. Sure you are, and the state is as In well. addition, when you have the results on the machines, immediately that night after the polls close, there's a municipal board of Canvas. They're double checking the results. Okay. All of that information comes into my office. A week later, we have a county board of Canvas. Okay. Um, and we go over all of the results that are handed from the Municipal Board of Canvas. And we're also double checking again the results from the machines. And then we submit that information to the state. And that'll all be going through in, um, in the spring elections and you'll of course, that'll be a smaller turnout when. Well, how do we make the spring elections a bigger turnout? Yeah, they are, they come, are traditionally Come out small. and vote. You know, we got to tell. We do people. want to encourage people to vote. We, do you have any other thoughts? Also, we get the we try to get the word out. Yeah. Uh, we put an election insert <clears throat> out, and that goes to um, most of the households. I would like to. There's some legislation that I'm working with with some legislators to allow clerks to use non-subscription based papers so you can get it out to all residents in the county. A lot of the, the free ones uh, go to every, every mailing address. Right, right. The subscription based papers, the number of those are going down each year because right. it's switching to internet <coughs> right. viewing and election notices, governmental notices don't go to the digital version. Yeah. So, Would you support online voting like they have in Oregon? I would not support online voting to my understanding of, I, I don't know all that they're doing in or, Oregon, or is it but Ohio? It's what a lot of the states are going towards is absentee voting 100%. That's, that would be I think different. Washington, state of Washington. Washington and Oregon are moving towards that. Yeah. So you do everything either by mail or? It's all by mail. All, all by, by mail. mail. Yeah. Where you don't have to come in on a snowy day, and I'm not, I'm not in favor of that. I still think election day is important yeah. to the country, and if you, if everyone can just mail in their absentees whenever, then it's kind of election month or yeah. election week. And well, John, you take away that importance. We have run out of time. Yeah, it a, so whether it's too elections quick. or services you provide. When we run out of time, we have to end it. I want to thank you for yeah, coming thank in. Thank you. And uh, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about elections uh, in another program. And I want to thank the people for coming and watching because elections are important. A county clerk's office and treasurer's office and register of deeds and the rest of them, very important that you select the person uh, that you want. And uh, please come in next week for legislative update. So, yeah.